Hi there everybody, Peter of England. The video today is concerning Weirbank and its current status and its current next plan or next level for evolution. Now, many of you will know and many of you will not know. Weirbank was actually formed in 2015 and officially launched in the UK in March 2015. Uh, the success initially was amazing. We were overwhelmed with the degree of uh, membership that was coming into Weirbank on a daily basis, and it almost became so successful that we couldn't keep up with the momentum. However, now we're coming up to 2023, and in March 2023, Weirbank will have been successful, would have been on the block and doing everything that it set out in principle to do through its various phases for eight years. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is that when Weirbank initially launched, there was a lot of attacks and a lot of shills and a lot of trolling on the social media platforms, particularly uh, Facebook and um, Instagram and Twitter. Um, and as you can see how the, the trolling and the shilling and the uh, gaslighting of various organizations that are contrary to the official, um, shall we say, the official um, line or the official party line of the, the globalist agenda, um, they get hit very hard and they get hit consistently. And this is, in effect, what was happening with Weirbank. Um, it was almost impossible to keep up with the, the negative comments um, and particularly um, with groups in Austria and Germany, but also in the United States and England, many people came out and said, Weirbank is nothing but a, a fraudulent scam being perpetrated by Peter of England. And I, I answered that by saying, look at all the banks, look at all the financial organizations that have had fines and that have been found out to be involved in money laundering, um, trafficking of all sorts of um, arms and uh, black ops funding into Afghanistan and Iran and around the world in South America. But Weirbank is involved in none of that. Um, the regulators, on the other hand, um, tended to take a steer around Weirbank, um, particularly the SEC uh, and in the United Kingdom, the FCA, Financial Compliance Authority. Um, However, the media picked up on that, the shills picked up on that, and basically said or tried to make out that Weirbank was nothing more than uh, a flight of fancy and something that was just uh, um, never possible for, for it to work. And they basically said none of the, the, the bills or the, um, the, the credits could be paid uh, to your payee or to your creditor because Weirbank was uh, operating with a fictional currency called the RE, which never was the case. The main priority behind Weirbank and the main reason that it could not be closed down, the reason that it is still going, coming up to its eighth year anniversary, is because the principles and the sound financial practices under common law and financial and banking regulations are as solid as they could be. And therefore, what We Are Bank did is put you out there, the individual, in a position where you could act as a private banker. So instead of going to a high street bank and signing a promissory note to the bank in return for a loan, all that happened is Weirbank basically said, well, we'll act as the, the, um, the pigeonhole, we'll act as the accounting arm, and what you'll do is you'll present a promissory note to us, we will hold that for you, and to the value of the promissory note, you will able, be able now to pay your various utilities, your um, debts and other obligations out there, but not purchase new goods so as to create a greater debt cycle, but you'll be able to then continue as, in effect, a private banker. So we're still going, we're still operating. We have over 1.5 billion in promissory notes. And so this is part of our funding background, which continues to allow you to pay for more as time goes on. So why I'm making this statement now is that we're in a, a period of what's called the cancel culture or the woke culture where anyone that's taking a line that is contrary to the, the as I say, the, the demonocrat or the neocon agenda out there, 
tends to be cancelled, whether it's Dave Chappelle, whether it is uh, people like Tom Fitton, uh, whoever it is out there that is actually going on in a contrary direction, they are being closed down by YouTube because you didn't follow community guidelines or some other organization that says you're being making racist or hate speech. It is very easy to be closed down. Now, I mentioned Dave Chappelle, one of the greatest comedians of all time. Um, people like that and Kanye West um, are all being closed and, um, should we say, uh, penalized or punished for expressing what is a prerogative of theirs under Articles 18 and 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So what's changed here? Where is it all going so mad? The SEC, the FCA, the regulatory authorities around the world, no matter which country you're in, are there for one reason only, and that is to protect their paymasters. Same with the situation now in the United States, which is very current, because we are banks saw this coming. I predicted it. I told you where this was all going to go. The weaponization of money. So when we were making these statements in 2015 and asking you to come and join, we were prescient. We knew what was coming. We wanted hundreds of thousands of you to join, not the thousands that did. And the reason we did that is because we could see that the weaponization of money and the elimination of cash, turning eventually the central banks into issuers of nothing more than digital currency, which is happening now, we see opening before your very eyes. Very, very um, newsworthy at the moment is this um, uh, crypto exchange, uh, FTX, which has just gone bust with billions in, uh, in dollars going missing. Um, if you look at the, 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 the players, look at the characters, look at the drama behind it, you will see it was a neocon darling. It was a, a, a horse or a camel to carry the Democrats and all those who wanted to make millions, the Pelosi's, the Schumer's, the Schiff's, the Maxine Waters, the Diane Feinsteins, all of them benefited, all of them made millions, if not more, off the back of it. But what is also coming out of it is they're looking to cancel the crypto market, in effect. My prediction is that Bitcoin will go right the way down, probably to a face value of around about 5,000. Uh, it could get even worse. But the reason that would happen is the the, the powers that are, the powers that seemingly are still in control, don't want it around because of the security, the anonymity, and the, the cryptographic element within it. So what they want you to have is a digital currency that they can cancel and control at any time with a timestamp on it so that you cannot accumulate wealth and as part of the social credit system, you won't be able to catch a train, you won't be able to buy a pizza, you won't be able to buy a book on the internet that they don't like because it will say that you haven't got the, the right to do it. So this is what they're looking to do. They want to cancel everything that's against them. So what is the, the, the opportunity for you now is why not get behind Weirbank? We have waited eight years. We saw all this unfolding. We knew that they were going to eliminate cash. Um, to that extent, what we tried to do for you is we tried to make you aware that we, or your community, should start to utilize banknotes. We also brought in the payment card, yeah? A pure facility uh, for you to be able to manage your own money. We asked you to become a private banker, and this is what we're asking you to do today. To join, to join, join WeAbank. There is no downside. We have to charge a little for the checkbook, so that is because it costs to print them, it costs to post them, and therefore we have to have also a little residual for operating costs and try and do these things for you. These notes, for example, and the cards, they don't get printed or produced for free. So, um, there is no fraud within We're Bank. It is as transparent as you could possibly make it. It is, uh, it is constructed under common law. It's a contract between you and the other party only. We just act as a clearinghouse. So, uh, just Look at it as it's operating as God's bank. So if there is a spiritual or biblical connection that allows us 
at this time when the forces of darkness, the satanic forces and the criminality that's operating on the planet is reaching such a crescendo, such a height that makes it almost impossible for you to live, then probably there has to be a compensatory balance on the other side, the side of the angels, the good side, should we say. And I am saying to you, you must start getting behind an organization, a bank that has this history or this genealogy behind it. We've been operating successfully for eight years. We are not going anywhere. We can't be closed down. We encourage you to stay in honor and simply <clears throat> for just a, a few pounds a month, which is a monthly membership, you join with We Are Bank. You then, <clears throat> as, a, as a technique, which is quite easy, you inform your creditor or the payee that your straw man persona has died, I, that individual that has named uh, in all capitals, either on your tax returns, your local, uh, your local uh, council tax, um, for your, um, your banking and credit contracts, that that individual is no longer there. How more dishonest can that be than what's been perpetrated on you by the globalist agenda and the globalist governments? If Klaus Schwab has his way, you are going to own nothing. If Boris Johnson had his way, and before Rishi Sunak, a billionaire, steps in, and who's coming with uh, after Biden, we don't know in the United States. But these people are just crushing you under the wheels of their destructive capability, and you really need to wake up and do something about it. So go to the We're Bank website, wearebank.co.uk. Have a look and see what we have to say. Pass the information and the link on to other people. If you're a part of a community, what I would say is please get in touch and I will try and steer you through ways of making your own local currency. Because if and when the ATM machines stop pumping that cash out, um, that's going to be the problem reaction solution time for you to start thinking, well, what should we have done? And so don't take this as a piece of insurance. Take it to heart now. Do something about it. Whether you're in the UK, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Dubai, just do something about it. Lay, start putting a community um, a construct or gel or glue together, which has been dissolved around you. So I'm coming up to the end of what I need, needed, to be, needed to say here today. So uh, the final part is just to bring into perspective the offers that We Are Bank has made to people who have joined as private bankers. Um, We Are Bank also, with Freeman Legal Services, and so on the website, look under our partnerships or partnership agreements, We Are Bank has got an arrangement where it will actively buy your debt. Okay? So, all the banks of the world, the entire financial structure, is based around something called debt on their book as an asset. Any cash that is placed with them that is held on deposit has to be insured against theft. It has to be um, put in a safe and guarded. Someone has to be paid, even if it's a machine consuming electricity through an ATM, to pay it out to you. And so to the banks, that's a liability. Okay, what is an asset to the banks and gives them their wealth perversely in this Alice in Wonderland, everything back to front world, which is called a checkerboard mutation, is the fact that once you take out a loan from the bank, that debt on its books is therefore classed as an asset. Okay? Now, debt can be bought and debt can be sold. You created that debt, therefore, as the creator of it, you can do whatever you want with it. And what we would encourage you to do, join We Are Bank, and then we will put in place a system where you can sell your debt, whether it's your mortgage debt, whether it's for agricultural machinery, whether it's what you owe on your car, you will sell it to We Are Bank, and then We Are Bank will step in as what's called a referee in case of need a third party that is willing to pay off a debt of a other person. 
the people to the contract. This isn't called novation. It's just a simple operation whereby as a referee in case of need or um, an individual that wants to help and assist within the contractual obligation, we step in and take care of the debt. Plus, we are bank benefits, benefits then from owning that debt, which it can then write off. So that's all I'm saying for today. Please go to wearebank.co.uk, have a look at the website, um, study some of the documents there, then join. You have virtually no downside and every upside possible because as the globalists try and crush you with inflation and additional taxation, for example, in the UK, um, electricity bills mounting, no, no gas, or if you can get gas, you can't afford to pay it. Instead of just sitting there and allowing yourself to be uh, a victim, use something called creative dissent. Yeah, Vaclav Havel had a peace prize or a prize for people who were engaged in such. And so this is what we're asking you. We're giving you an opportunity to be creative. Yeah. Don't leave the planet thinking to yourself, well, I wish I could have done that. And if only I assure you that when you get to your final breaths, one of the things you will possibly regret is thinking, I really should have stuck two fingers or the bird finger up to the state or the government that says it owns and controls me and actively to my face shows me what it's doing and what I can't do, then you will regret not having taken an opportunity like this. We can put the arrows in your hand, we can point you in the direction and we'll do everything we can to assist you in making life easier for you and showing you the ways to access your right to payment your beneficial entitlements under the hidden globalist trust. So if you like it, thanks, hit the button. If you like it, subscribe and pass it on to whoever you can. It's time now to take action. Thank you.